Alright, start recording. What's going? Um, good morning, guys. Well, it might not be your morning. Depends on when you're watching this, but it's my morning. I just woke up. It's pretty early. But this video number three. Um, yeah, number three. I did number two. I edited it together. I don't know if I want to post it. It's kind of embarrassing because the artwork is terrible. It's like, it doesn't make sense. I'm trying to give advice on drawing things, but I'm drawing poorly. It's like taking financial advice from a homeless person. It's just, uh, it doesn't make sense. But anyway, let's, um, let's just get right into this. I'm trying to minimize my screen here. Um, let's work on this guy because he's terrible. Uh, what would I do next? That's a problem too. Is um, it's a it's a problem for everybody really. It's a pursuit of perfection. It's a, we don't want to post stuff that's half-assed or stuff that we we deem isn't isn't great, right? So, but I think that's a problem for a lot of people. Is that it? It really does uh, hold them back from from doing anything at all. Uh, I find that true uh, because I I speak to a lot of people. Um, yes, I do. I know I, I said before, I, I don't have a lot of friends and stuff like that. Or if I didn't, uh, I'm telling you now, don't have a lot of friends. So, but I do have, um, some very good core friends and I speak to them and they're all kind of, I wouldn't say all of them. Some of them, most of them are reluctant to start YouTube, anything, my art friends. And what did my light just flash? I'm having a power outage. <clears throat> What was I saying? Yeah, um, my YouTube friends anyway, or not my YouTube, my, my real life friends that they, they don't want to do YouTube because um, their excuse is, I, I want to I wanna wait until the perfect time or until I do the perfect video and then I want to post it. I'm like, that just, that's just going to hold you back because your perfect now isn't going to be your perfect in a year's time and things on YouTube exist forever, right? Like for instance, what I'm saying there is like, even if, for instance, I'm doing this drawing here, and it turns out to be the best drawing in the world that I feel I could do. I'm like, I'm going to post it. I guarantee if I continue to do this next year, I will look back on this video, on this drawing, and I'll be like, that's a terrible drawing. That's what I mean. It's like, it's never going to be perfect. We're always pursuing perfection. But I'm, what I'm also saying is don't let that be um, a hindrance to you if you want to post, if you want to be a YouTube, um, a YouTuber, um, or anything in life, in, in Instagram influencer or whatever, or better at your job, don't don't be apprehensive about things like that. Just do it, and then forget about it, and then improve on it. And that's what I'm doing now. It's that's that's what I'm hoping to do, going forward. Is um, take on that kind of uh, mentality is not worry about perfection because I, I stress out about that as well it's like if i'm going to put something out there i want it to be the best thing i could put out and i know that my best is um it's pretty high because i have a, i have a lot of i have a lot of experience i have, I have editing capabilities i can animate I, I was a i was an animator for 15 plus years um if i if i really wanted to and I know a lot about camera gear, like, that's how I'm able to get, like, really nice footage. My lighting could be better, to be honest, but I'm in my basement, whatever. I have to make do with what I have. Um, but I'm just saying that it's within my grasp to have, like, the most polished art, um, art, what is it, art channel in the world. Um, but what would that mean? That would mean I would... I'd, I'd be spending so much uh so much of my days just um just realizing that and i think that that even to professional youtubers i think that stops them from posting more i mean how can it not i actually don't know because i don't watch a lot of um uh influencers art influencers on youtube to be honest um not because of my ego or anything like that. I just don't have time and it's not, I'm not really interested in it, to be honest. I'm more interested in other things like Discovery Channel and documentaries of how this dude murdered 50 people without getting detected. That's the kind of stuff that I'm interested in. Um, artwork is something that I do 
and I should be interested in it, but I'm, I'm in, I'm so ingrained in it. Like it's my daily thing. It's the last thing I want to do is watch other people draw artwork. So I don't, I don't really get a lot of inspiration from that anymore. I mean, I used to, that's why I'm here now. Like I used to love old comic book creators like um, Jim Lee and stuff like that. And I've learned a lot from them. And then I started watching anime and then I started realizing that anime is pretty badass too. So I started drawing anime. So that's, that's pretty much my backstory. And I, even, even in the college that I went to in my, in my first video, which I was describing, I went to a painting, like a drawing and painting school. I didn't even go to the school that did anime or um, this type of anime or this type of illustration, um, which would have been Sheridan. If I was smart, I should have went there. Then I probably would have graduated and been working for Disney or Marvel or something like that. I don't know. This, this is becoming like a therapy session for me. <laughs> Um, thank you for watching anyway but what was I saying before um, yeah this pursuit of perfection is a uh, it's, it's scary it, it holds people back and if if I can give you one advice and I know that I don't have a lot of followers on, on YouTube so I'm not even giving YouTube advice I'm giving kind of like a life advice when you're handing in work um, don't stress yourself out. Just get it done and hand it in. Um, trust me. Um, you're, you're your hardest critic. Um, your version of perfection is not what other people's version of perfection is. I don't expect the perfect work. Like when, from my employees, um, I don't expect the best work. I just expect good work. I expect you to spend time on the work. And I can tell by looking at it if you've spent time on it. But... I don't give a damn if every line is perfect. It's not that important to me. And I've heard that from from people. It's like, I don't want to hand it in because it's going to be late. This, this drawing is going to be late because I will have to make sure every line is perfect. I'm like, no, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. That's not important. Just Just get it to me. Just get it out there. But um, I'm, I'm clearly drawing Avatar, the last airbender here, all grown up. <laughs> it's not. It just looks like him. The anatomy is all weird. Uh, it, the legs are super long, but I kind of like that as well. Like, if I was to follow proper anatomy, his crotch would be here. Actually, it'd be even higher. Be like there somewhere. The legs would be like here somewhere. Like I'm, I'm drawing a lot without explaining myself. So if there's anything that you see in this video where you're like, how did you, how did you come to that? Like, what are you doing? Um, just let me know. Just let me know what you want me to kind of breakdown but the reason why I draw the anatomy underneath is that it gives you a lot of um, gives you a lot of leeway in the future especially when you're character designing um, sometimes you'll want like a big fat sweater on the guy let's see what that looks like sometimes you'll want to put like a, like a big cyberpunky kind of ooh. thingy like this I don't know it's hard to draw and, and talk at the same time to be honest I don't know what kind of hole I've dug myself into it's not ideal most of the artwork is gonna look like garbage because drawing takes a lot of focus I'm sure you guys know that if you're an artist and you're looking at this you, you know that drawing takes a lot of focus and talking to some of you guys especially me it takes a lot of focus I don't speak at all throughout my day unless I'm in meetings but that's a different kind of talking but um, outside of that if I'm not if I'm just drawing 95% uh, of the day I'm just kind of I don't say anything so it's it's very difficult for me actually to to, to talk normally it took me a long time to be able to even talk to people normally 
But if I, yeah, for character design, that's a terrible jacket. If I wanted a big fat sweater, I could. Um, if I didn't, if the guy wanted like, um, if the client, I should say, if they wanted something like no shirt, then he's pretty much already done. The, anam the, anam the anatomy's already done. So obviously now he's a gimp. <laughs> he's got all these straps and stuff like that. You could, you could do that. And what if you wanted some like, I know it seems like I love shoulder pads and I kind of do because it gives you this contrast. It allows you to break from the anatomy. It allows you to make the shoulders much wider than it is. That's why I like these kinds of things, adding like bulky things to, um, to character. Even though I suck at drawing machines, I've actually gotten a lot better. I used to be really, really, really terrible. But in my um, in my current job, I'm having to um, I'm being forced almost to kind of draw and learn a lot of uh, machinery. So I can almost like um, make stuff up and have it kind of convincing. <laughs> I mean, this is terrible. Like, what is this guy? But stuff like that. And then I would actually just take that. Because I'm not really happy with it. And I would make it bigger. Because you can. It's character design. And the anatomy underneath it would be a small joint in contrast uh, with that big item that I just drew there. And his arm is completely straight. I kind of just ruined it. But um, I'd probably throw like a big jagged kind of uh, elbow thing here. Just to kind of pull it back out this way. Instead of having it become so straight. So by doing that, it, it automatically pulls the, uh, the silhouette out that way. And then I would probably draw this. Maybe have the arm curve in a bit more. The fist kind of. Maybe not bending that much, but like, yeah, something like that. Give him some bandages. But just by doing that, as you can see, the silhouette became way, way cooler. And I mean, of course, I'm going to add hair on him. It's nothing more boring than a, a round dome for the head. You want to add anime hair. So the silhouette, I may do something with the side as well here, but maybe not. I'll leave the arm, I'll even actually push it back a bit more, just to kind of hide it. Just to give it more, more of a, more of an interesting silhouette. Because right now, if I didn't do that, this would be the silhouette. Boring, right? So I'm going to push the arm in, like this, bend it back out, and then give him the fist like this. Now the silhouette's this, like that. Looks way better. So yeah, and then uh, if you added like some crazy anime hair to him, then it becomes legit. And I think my son is coming down, so I'm probably gonna close it out there. So that's it right there. I mean, that doesn't look too bad. You just work on it. Anything is salvageable. That might be a future character. Hey buddy, thanks. Oh, some news. Sweet, thanks buddy. It's my pumpkin. I love him so much. Um, anyway, yeah, he just broke my concentration, but I don't care because I love him. Um, so I'm going to end it there. Um, that's not too bad. I was able to salvage that, that drawing. So I think, yeah, the, the lesson here, I think, from myself is I will post that second video. Um, I'm going to take my own advice. And I'm not going to worry about perfection. I'm just going to worry about the journey. Post. Post with a bigger picture in mind. 
um, and that is to just get it out there, get you know, get the practice in there, and um, see how much I'm gonna improve from that video. So hopefully, a hundred videos in, it's gonna be super embarrassing, and that's gonna make it awesome because that'll mean that I grew. Thank you.